Jose Maria Velasco is one of the most famous Mexican artists. He lived from 1840 to 1912. He is a maximum exponent of Mexican landscaping of the 19th century. During his time, most of the artists painted religious, mythological, and traditional themes. However, Jose Maria Velasco made of the Mexican geography with a robust, romantic accent the symbol of the national identity. He was an exceptional draftsman with a refined technique, precise strokes, and sophisticated color. His monumental paintings of the Valley of Mexico were captured in a naturalistic way but simultaneously with the poetic grandeur. He was a teacher to many artists such as the muralist Jose Clemente Orozco, Diego Rivera, and David Alfaro Siqueiros, who mirrored his work during their beginnings and who eventually rejected his style to adopt a style entirely to the service of the revolution. Jose Maria Velasco was born in an obscure little town called Temascalcingo in the state of Mexico. He studied in small schools of the area. Finally, he was able to obtain a scholarship for the Fine Arts Academy, where he had many teachers. Among the most renowned was the Italian Eugenio Landeso, who was able to transmit Velasco's naive romanticism typical of his paintings. Velasco's family scientific roots influenced him to write a book titled The Flora in the Valley of Mexico in 1868. With his sterling academic record, was named professor of the National School of Arts he held many important positions. He was one of the most laureate Mexican artists and received many gold medals in Mexico, the United States, and Spain. His production comprises three periods. The first period is very academic, La Alameda de Mexico where you can see people from all social classes, many trees and fountains. The composition is delicate with a perfect balance. The Valley of Mexico is the first piece of a series of paintings with the same theme that will help him consolidate his prestige. The first close-up has a rocky area and vegetation. Behind, the valley's horizon extends with an exquisite perspective of the two volcanoes view, the Popocatépetl and the Ixtlacíhuatl. He lived in a tent for several weeks to paint the scene to capture the different color tonalities depending on the light. In the second period from 1890 to 1892, Velasco became in contact with the Impressionist experiments in France. You can see this style in the Valley of Mexico with Yajusco seen from the Tepeyac. In his third period, much more personal, from 1892 to 1910, he paints the Sun Pyramid of Teotihuacan. Jose Velasco is one of my favorite Mexican artists. Be sure to see our next post about Guadalajara. Loving Mexico thanks you for being with us today. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Continue watching our videos and enjoy loving Mexico.